This is Duke University. I talk about uh, the five R's of uh -huh. service learning, and um, one yeah. of them is relationship because, the, and probably the most important one uh -huh. because um, we have we build these relationships with the community. Which again, this kind of goes mm -hmm. back to the dark side. If we're not capable of sustaining, and we're not we're not in this for the long term, they actually end up creating more harm in terms of mistrust. So these these relationships are really powerful. You know, mm -hmm. I like to think of these other R's as... Yeah, what are they? Well, rigor. Okay. I mean, um, service learning is more than, hey, I, I'm a liberal progressive professor mm -hmm. and I think everybody ought to go out and do something good. Uh -huh. And I'm going to teach this class and you students go do something. It, there's academic rigor to these classes. Mm -hmm. Reciprocity is, a, is, a, is an R word that applies to service learning okay. that... Um, p we're learning mm -hmm. on the university side but uh, our partners are learning as well. Um, mm -hmm. We're getting something from them. They're getting something from us. This is a reciprocal relationship. Mm -hmm. It goes two ways. We're not the holders of all the goods. We, we are gaining from this. Mm -hmm. So uh, reciprocity. I like the, the critical reflection. That's, mm -hmm. that's typically thought of the biggest R in service learning. That right. Without the reflective piece, I mean... John Dewey said that experience itself is not a good teacher. Mm -hmm. It's the reflection on experience that, that helps us learn. So mm -hmm. uh, faculty members who teach these courses, and one of the things we do in the service learning program is that we try to support faculty members to figure out ways that they can build reflection, critical reflection, into every aspect of their course, mm -hmm. into their class meeting times, into their readings, into their homework, into their assessments, mm -hmm. the way they assess uh, the students in their class. Uh, the fifth R I use is, is real life because okay. uh, I think, and like I said, that service learning is situated, is contextualized mm -hmm. in real life issues, mm -hmm. and I think that does a lot of positive things to change the learning dynamic. Produced by Duke University, online at duke.edu.